Hello everyone, my name is Manish Barnechea and I recently defended my PhD dissertation entitled Energy Conversion Scheme for Offshore DC Wind Turbines. This thesis has been done in strong collaboration between Mondragon University and Engie Team, and its main objective has been to cover the preliminary work for the experimental validation of the wind turbines in offshore DC wind farms. Nowadays, majority of the installed wind power is located onshore due to their low installation costs, close proximity to transmission lines, and cheap and easy maintenance. In offshore wind farms, the accessibility for maintenance is more difficult and the life expectancy is threatened by the salty, corrosive, and humid environment. However, best onshore sites have been already exploited, and offshore wind conditions are better, which allows destruction of hydropower. In consequence, the number of offshore installations is increasing in the last few years, and it is expected that they will reach to produce the 30% of the total wind power of the European Union from 2020 onwards. Nonetheless, offshore wind farms have several challenges that increase their complexity. In addition to the previously mentioned environmental and accessibility difficulties, the transmission to shore of the generated energy is challenging. Nowadays, this is mainly addressed using AC transmission systems. In these farms, wind turbines are connected to an AC collection network, and then the collection network voltage is elevated by the offshore platform placed line frequency transformer achieve a reasonable transmission efficiency. The main drawback of the AC transmission systems is the reactive current circulating through the submarine cables, which increases the cable power losses. Nowadays, in certain real applications, these issues are addressed using DC transmission systems. The use of these lines avoids the reactive current circulation and increases system efficiency. However, note that the collection network is still an AC network, and so, the reactive current-related issues are not completely avoided, and bulky AC transformers are needed in the wind turbines as well as in the offshore platform. Therefore, recent research has focused on substituting the AC collection networks by DC equivalents. This way, the overall efficiency can be improved and space requirements reduced. The dispersed DC collection network with parallel connected wind turbines it's an attractive solution to build these offshore with DC wind farms. The main advantage of this layout is that it avoids the conversion stage in the offshore platform, and consequently, the offshore platform itself is not required. This leads to save between 15 and 20% of the total wind farm cost. In addition, the less conversion stages increase system efficiency and allows to increase the reliability of the farm given that the failure of the conversion stage in the offshore platform jeopardizes the entire power structure. From the turbine control point of view, the parallel connection of the turbines makes its control simple and the failure of one turbine should not affect the behavior of the other turbines. However, the turbines are directly connected to the transmission lines and in consequence, the energy conversion scheme in the wind turbines, composed of a rectifier and a DC-DC transformer, has to interface the low generator side voltage of few kilovolts with the high transmission side voltage of tens to hundreds of kilovolts. Therefore, the design of the energy conversion scheme is challenging and there is not any standard solution for it. The main contribution of this thesis has been the definition of this energy conversion scheme. To do so, an extensive analytical converter analysis has been done, which has allowed to select the optimum scheme within a wide range of candidates. On the one hand, eight different rectifiers have been thoroughly analyzed, obtaining their design equations and power loses expressions. On the other hand, for defining the DCC transformer, 23 different galvanically isolated DCTC converters have been studied in detail. Again, the design equations and power loses expressions has been, have been obtained. From the comparison of all the rectifiers and DCTC converters, a novel energy conversion scheme has been proposed, where input parallel output series connected full bridge DC DC converters are linked to each H bridge in the cascaded H bridge rectifier, and all the DC DC converters are series connected at the output, thereby achieving high output voltage levels. Its high modularity allows to avoid the series and parallel connection of the semiconductors and to include redundant modules at the rectifier as well as in the DC-DC transformer. 
Thus, the reliability of the scheme is increased. The converter failures can be easily managed by modifying the modulation index of the CHV rectifier's edge bridges. Moreover, the relatively high operational frequency of the DCC converters allow to reduce the total stored energy of the DCC transformer, and in addition, the volume of all the medium frequency transformers in the DCC transformer is lower than that of an equivalent line frequency transformer of similar rated power. Last, the output voltage share of the DCC converters is naturally balanced by controlling the power extracted by each converter. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to know more about my research, please contact me at mbaranechiai at mondragon.edu.